Hey guys, this is the last chapel of the year, so I wanted to do something a little bit different, a little bit special. Um, and as we all know, we're in this pandemic, right? And it's impacting all, all of us differently. Mr. Ovalle's 8th, 9th, and 10th grade uh, literature class or English class, I don't, I'm not sure, um, they worked on a project about how this pandemic is affecting them. Graciously, some of them have allowed us to see what, you know, a rough draft of their projects to see how this pandemic is affecting them both in a positive and in a negative way. So here you go. Hope you guys enjoy. Hello, I'm Mala Ortiz. Hello world, my name is Milton Garcia here. Hi, my name is Janae Rogers. Hi, this is Giovanni Pineda. Hi, my name is Diego Alguera. Hi, my name is Angeles Polanco. My name is Daniel Sandrino and I'm 16 and I live in Miami, Florida. Hi, my name is Genesis Castellanos. I'm from Miami, Florida and it is currently 8.17 p.m. I'm kind of here to talk to you about my little journey through quarantine. This corona thing has affected me a lot because I'm supposed to be in Miami, but I'm in Ecuador. So usually it's 3.30 on a Monday. Usually I'll be getting out of school by now, but that's not the case right now since we're stuck at home. So this is what school looks like to me. Paris background just to make me feel happier. School. It's no longer in a building. I have the privilege of taking it online. So I sit there at that desk from 8 a.m. up until whenever I finish my work. I can't, um, you know, see anyone. I can't see my friends. Now life is looking a little more, um, I, I would say boring. Um, well, the first part, I can't really see my friends. I can't go to church. I haven't had a haircut in a long time. That's why I have a cap. This has affected me because number one, I have to wear a hat all the time because I desperately need a haircut. And this pandemic has changed my life in good and bad ways. I'd say good because I see myself mature and become a better Christian, but it's affected me in bad ways because um, I like interacting with friends, family, and um, it's also been bad because my activities, my after school activities have been canceled. I can't go out with my friends like I used to. I can't go uh, for after school activities. I, I play in a soccer club, for example, and I can't play any more games, can't practice with them, and it's just been very, very hard. The worst part that I think could have ever happened to me is that they, um, they canceled the NBA, and that really affects me a lot. It affects me because, um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a very, very, very big Heat fan. It's online learning. Um, I'm struggling to adjust to it because I love participating in this class. And when it comes to online learning, I feel like it's harder for me to do that. And I'm just adjusting to the whole format because it all happened so quickly. No one really thought about it before. So I have to do online classes and that's like more hard for me because I only have my phone to do like all my stuff. When I'm not doing school, I'm usually on my phone, usually chatting with friends since we can't see each other and we're just stuck at home being bored. Or if not, I'll go outside and just get like fresh air, but now I'm really not doing that because we're finding a lot of spiders. Ew. You know, I support the heat a lot. I watch all of it. I watch all of their games, all of it. I cannot miss a single game. This situation has actually helped me come closer to my family and my sisters and God and it also helped me realize to fix the things that I do in life and to do them right. It helps me realize that I need a better relationship with God. And it also helped me realize that I need a better relationship with my family and my sisters. And the good parts are that I, um, I've been picking up and doing a lot more of my hobbies, catching up on shows. Some things I've been doing to keep myself busy and my mind off all this is reading a lot of books, watching a lot of movies, and staying in touch with my friends. We've been making lots of plans for after COVID-19, which is something I very much recommend. It keeps your spirits up and helps you um, kind of stay grounded, uh, keep yourself happy and busy. And I was hoping they were gonna go to the finals because they actually had a chance. I really miss my church. I miss gathering with my friends. I miss seeing my, my family more. And I really miss being able to go outside and be active because I don't know about you guys, but I know that there's a lot of us out there that have really gained some weight and I have plenty of it to lose. A virus had to spread all over the US 
and now all the games, all the sports are canceled. Also, my mom is a nurse and she has to risk her life every day to go to work to help with this coronavirus outbreak. And sometimes it's scary. You know, a lot of my family members don't even have a job right now, but. And one of the things I'm worried about is my mom, cause she's a nurse. So she's actually out there in the field working every day. And like, it's really hard, so. And third is just the negative impact that this virus has had in general. Every day is just such terrible news about people dying, people being affected by this. And it kind of sucks to read all of this and just knowing that you as an, as an individual can't really do much about it, only to like probably stay home or donate some masks, but that's about it, which kind of sucks. But hopefully if we keep on staying positive, this will all end because a negative mindset honestly isn't gonna add anything to this. World, please go back to how you once used to be. I just want to be happy again. But on the bright side, me and my family have gotten closer. We've gotten closer and known, gotten to know each other better, more than what we thought we initially did. But things go on at, oh, time's up. Sorry. So right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna congratulate those graduating in eighth grade and in 12th grade. We're also gonna use this time to say goodbye to all the seniors that are gonna move on to the next stage in their lives. Seniors, I think you guys are awesome. You guys are hilarious. Um, I wish I could have hung out with you guys more, but I can't, <laughs> I couldn't, but it's okay, that's life. Um, I wish the best for you guys. Um, I wish you guys to be successful. I wish you guys love people the way God loves people and become great citizens of this world. That's, I think that's all one can ask of you to become great citizens. Uh, so enjoy these videos of people congratulating you and saying goodbye to you. Congratulations, seniors! Congratulations, class of 2020! Woo! Congratulations, class of 2020. It has been a pleasure to have taught every single one of you algebra, and hopefully you will remember some of what I've taught you throughout your life. Most importantly, of everything that I've ever shared with you, I hope that you remember to keep God first because He is the one that can give you strength, that can give you comfort when life gets challenging. Life is not going to be easy. You're about to find out real soon, and some of you already know that. But I pray that you all will be blessed and that everything that you got here at GMAA will give you strength to be the great young women and men God has created you to be. I love you all. Go with God. Hey guys, congratulations to the graduating classes, kindergarten, fifth, eighth, and twelfth grade. Oh man, to my seniors. Uh, I'm gonna keep it short. Because otherwise I'm gonna get emotional. But uh, I love you guys. You guys are such a special class and I think that you guys are awesome. And I have zero doubt in my mind that whatever you guys strive to do, you're gonna, you're gonna get it, you're gonna accomplish it. No problems whatsoever. I wanna thank you guys for the honor and privilege it was to be a part of your lives. Um, for the time that I've been here, uh, this was only my second year working here at GMA and you guys, accepted me with open arms and you'll never know how much I really appreciated that. Um, a lot of you guys made me laugh. A lot of you guys annoyed the crap out of me. <laughs> no, but you guys are awesome through and through and, and I cannot be more grateful to have, been, uh, have met you guys and I know that, you know, you guys keep God first and you just know that He is your hope and your peace and you see him as your hero, like, you're gonna kick some major butt and it's gonna be awesome. Love you guys, congrats. Hi class of 2020, we are so proud of your accomplishments that you have done so far into today. I know there's so many more that are coming, but we wanna congratulate you for everything that you've done, for the challenges that you guys faced this year. I can't even imagine how difficult it must have been, but Remember, God is with you, never forget that, and we are here for you. So, we are so proud of you. 
come back and visit. We are going to miss you a lot. May the Lord bless you and guide you in everything you do. To all my seniors, we love you very much. Take it easy. Hey guys, it's Sammy here. I just want to tell you that I'm so happy and blessed that I have met you guys. You guys are amazing. Um, this was my first year in GMA and I couldn't have picked better, better students than you guys. And I'm being really honest. I really enjoy every class, every talk, um, hanging out with you guys. It was amazing. So thank you for that. I just want you to, um, I'm going to keep praying for you. Um, and I know that God has great things for you guys. Okay. So if you ever need anything, let me know. Congratulations guys. Have fun. Oh. Hello everybody. I hope you are doing well and staying safe and healthy. Um, I want to congratulate all the graduates and the seniors. I'm so proud of you and all your achievements. I hope I see you soon. God bless you. Bye. Hey guys. Hey seniors and um, everybody that's graduating. Once again, thank you guys. Uh, no, why am I saying thank you? <laughs> Leon! Okay. Uh, take two. Hey guys, we just want to take some time to say congratulations to those that are graduating. Kindergarten graduated, eighth grade graduated, and seniors are finishing off the year. We're so excited for you guys. You We're guys are you. leaving. You're taking off. You don't have to leave. You You're can stay. Be, uh, grab some wings okay. and taking it up to the mountain to the max. Yes. <laughs> May God bless you. Take care of Come you. Come back and visit, please. We love you, seniors. All my Acros alumni is uh, coming to be. May God bless you. My Come. workers, Giovanna, Kiana. Those are my two seniors, yes. Love you, girls. Soccer players. <laughs> we'll miss you. Take care. Right. God bless. Bye. Hello, everyone. Congratulations to all the classes that are graduating this year in 2020. Congratulations to the eighth grade class. I've taught some of you in second grade and I'm so proud of you and I will see you next year in high school. Yay! But now I'd like to give special congratulations to the seniors, to the 12th graders. You did it! Yay! I am so proud of you. I've had some of you in second grade and it was a joy and a pleasure to teach you. And I have pictures right here to prove it. As you can see, I have some of the second grade girls on awards day. And there is Erica. And there you have Daniel and Jonathan for Hispanic heritage. I don't know why they're not smiling. Maybe they don't like the hats. And then we have a class photo. So congratulations to all of you. May God bless you as you make the mark upon this world. Bye. Welcome back, guys. So to end chapel, I uh, wanted to say a few last words to the seniors. This is probably the last time I see most of you, or this is probably the last time you guys hear my voice. I'm not really seeing you right now, but. <laughs> um, so I was trying to think, well, what can I tell the seniors one last time? And I guess I, I, I can summarize it in, uh, you guys are gonna become adults now, or you're in the process of becoming adults. And in that process, you know, you're gonna try to become successful in life, and that's awesome. But in trying to become successful, you might forget God. It happens to a lot of people. The cool, the awesome thing is that God has not forgotten about you. He's waiting for you to come back to him with arms open wide. Um, so in life, if you ever feel like you've hit rock bottom or you need something, God's, God's always waiting for you to come back to him. He's waiting for you with arms open wide. He just wants you back. Hopefully you don't have to hit rock bottom in order to come to God, because when you hit rock bottom, that sucks. <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, but coming to God and when you hit rock bottom is probably one of the best things you can do. Hopefully you guys can come to God in your youth and experience him. I have that. Pretty much spend your whole life with him. There's nothing beautiful than having a life filled with God by your side. So yeah, guys, I, I guess if I'm going to summarize everything in one sentence is you can always come back to God. He loves you. Um, he wants to treat you the way a father should treat their, do their daughter or their son. And some, for some of us, that's kind of hard because our relationship with our parents aren't the best. But God wants to show you how much he loves you. God wants to show you how much he cares for you, how much he wants to bless you, and how much he wants to treat you like a father. So remember, you can come to God anytime you want. He's always waiting to be your father. Seniors, let me pray for you guys one last time, and then we will end chapel. Dear Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you for, for these seniors, Lord. 
I want to thank you because you gave us the opportunity to see them grow from K-5 all the way to 12th grade, Lord. Some of us have been able to see them become the human beings they are now, and we thank you for that, Lord. Now in their next stage of life, God, I ask that you be with them. You know the plans you have for them, plans for them to prosper, plans for them to do good. You knew them in the womb, Lord, and you know them better than anyone else now. So I ask that you bless them, Lord. And lastly, God, I just ask that they allow you to be a father to them. Show them how much you love them, God. Show them how much our Heavenly Father really loves us. Allow them to see themselves the way you see us. And just, God, I just want to thank you for your grace, Lord. Keep on offering it to them because <laughs> everyone needs it and they're going to need it. And God, I just pray that they come back to you whenever, they, whenever they've deviated too far from you, God. I always tug their heart so they can come back to you and have a more intimate relationship with you. In your name I pray, amen. All right, seniors, it's going to be sad seeing you guys go. Jimmy is going to be a little bit empty next year, but we know that uh, it's, part, it's, it's part of growing up. We're going to miss you. Come back, visit us whenever you can if this pandemic uh, allows it. <laughs> um, but GMA is, you know, GMA is a home for you guys, the home away from home. The teachers want to see you. We want to see how the people, we want to see the people you guys have become. So come visit us. We want to love you. We want to show you how much, how proud we are of you. And yeah, thank you guys for everything. See you sometime in the future. <laughs>